today we're going to have a look at uh, light wind turbo cad not the old bulldog shear on screen uh, I think the easiest way to show your lights is uh, put a black in the background up and just have to uh, Turn the render scene environment off. And we've got a black background. The background affects the way it affects, affects reflections. So when you change the background, your lighting properties just change altogether. So I'm just going to do an extreme, turn the lights off. So in TurboCAD without any light we see nothing. If you think about that a bit harder uh, it sort of makes sense. Then we're just going to pop the little eyes and nose up here which should show the position of our light. I'm not sure where the spotlight is set or if anything will come on. Ah, I think it just came up there. If we select the light shows the position of it where it's shining. Just pop back out. And because I can't see the drone when I'm clicking over the screen I'm selecting <laughs> certain parts. We could just go stick default settings on and we'd be able to see something but like to uh, show you a bit more headlights and now we're getting something popping into view and there we see two lights that are showing now headlight and a spot and because I haven't rehearsed this at all the drawing was done a while ago I don't know what lights are showing where what's highlighted in the drawing so we'll just play it by ear. Obviously when I did the drawing I will have set the lights to highlight certain parts. But I'm just going straight off the cuff here. Ambient light. Probably make the biggest difference the ambient light. And of course you can't always see, even though the lights are selected where they are, they could be. And I'll just do, keep doing them one at a time, see what pops up. Just while it's on my mind. I'll show you a quick way that I do lights. If I took that reference point there of that part, I wanted to highlight the top of that. I would copy the coordinates of that into my light settings, and then I would either, whichever axis it needed, raise it on to raise it above the part. It's, that's just a quick and easy way to remember your way around them. Whatever. Let me just cancel that. Whatever part you're wanting to highlight, the coordinates of the parts are, are down in your bar, so you, you just copy those uh, coordinates, sizes are there. And I'm just going to, uh, right there got coordinates showing down in the bottom of, of actually where the that's not an accurate way you need the you need the part the coordinate of the part and then if you position the spotlight just above that part you would raise it on whatever axis you needed to above the part so we'll just pull on a bit more get the full set up see what's popping out here bit more 
more brightness coming in there and might as well put both these lights on working here this should be nearly loaded up I'm still in full full render mode here so program's doing a bit of work on the quiet and that's all the lights but we're on but not as bright so if we go back in uh, to uh, render scene environment and we pop our graduated inverted background up different feeling altogether that are drawing and uh, as I say everything's working here reflections are working from the backgrounds just pop it off again and our black backgrounds will come up we're going to jump in there and try something else Same backgrounds, can pretty much be what you want. go back into uh, render scene environment pop up the graduated inverted and in fact I'm going to uh, I'm going to pop out of there because I want the, the black background gives you a better feel when you're playing around with lights on the background again black seem to be the best effect for point light just uh, coming up now more shinier there with the grey light showing and uh, probably the headlight will be the easiest to show you open light different values there headlight the colour grey on power 1 watt turning up to 2 watts and I don't know if that will make enough difference but it does seem to be pretty sensitive with these watts Okay, so three times the wattage now. As I say, I'm not rehearsing any of these, these are old drawings. This is going to be way too white with three watts up on the headlight. But don't forget. 
If we go back onto the headlight, we can go three watts in, in the black and white. You can also change the cones, the umbras. It's not my specialist subject because uh, it's something that I don't need to use a lot of, but it's certainly fun to play around with. And now we're going now into a, a blacker light which I don't like one bit, so I'm going to go back into my headlight. I'm going to put a grey on. I'm going to edit it. Light. I'm going to go back down to 1 watt. And uh, I do apologise if some of these tutorials are running out. The AVI seems to be running at uh, 15 minutes. And YouTube's taking 300 minutes to uh, download each one. I've just increased my account to 15 minutes. The last one was 16. So I don't want to drop out of this little demo suddenly like some of the others I've been doing. So that's just a brief, a brief uh, run through lights and we'll come back and do some more on them. So it's not my specialist subject, but uh, it's nice just to decorate your drawings. I'll see if we've got time just to show you a quick little trick. As well as positioning your lights down in the inspector bars there, you can grab hold and just swing your light around. Sometimes you get a nice effect as the light sweeps over. Don't forget we're in 3D world, so it could just be going straight past there for all I know. Doesn't seem to move much. Mm, we're not. It's not. Uh, anyway, we'll call it a draw for this one. And that's just a brief look at lights in Turbo CAD. Still a, a hell of a big subject to cover. Like say cones, umbras. Uh, there's just hundreds of light settings. I mean, gives you a lot, a lot of options. So. Lights in Turbo CAD. Cover it a bit more, but before this runs out of memory, I'm going to stop it there.